miraculously, Cal Poly still looking for their first hit of this game, despite nine base runners. Gotta love baseball, right? This is one of those Tim Kirchin quirky situations here tonight. 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball, popped out to right center. Baldwin is there. Oh, a little bit of a mistake, and Rounds gets in his way. Two runs will score. I'm not sure that'll be a hit, but I don't think the Mustang fans care. Just to see the eighth error of the season here in game eight, and Lee smacks a hanger. Right center, Baldwin can't pick it up. One run scores. Holding it third is Stafford. Double number nine this season for Brooks Lee. Makes the score three nothing. That's all the changes we've got for you here as a check swing is a swing, says Chris Gonzalez, and there's the 11th punch out. Second of the game for Snowpack. Drew Thorpe continuing to sleepwalk through this Harvard lineup. One over the minimum here with one out in the eighth. There's a lot that has to be taken into account for coaches Cole and Stark. First of four games this weekend, first of eight over the next week and a half here in California. As Jordheim overthrows it, it's an RBI for Stafford and a 4-0 Cal Poly lead. He's all systems go on this next swing. And there it is, launched, deep left center, Baldwin races, and Snowpeck makes the grab. Wow, Baldwin laid out, but it was Snowpeck. Sack fly though, as Doss scores from third. Three runs in the fourth, two in the eighth. Five runs on three hits, zero errors for Cal Poly. Zero runs on three hits, two errors for Harvard, as this pitch is clobbered to center. Doss has it in his sights. Thorpe, complete game shutout. A three hit gem for the sophomore righty from Utah. And he picks up his second win of the season. Cal Poly moves to six and seven behind phenomenal fielding and patient offense as they draw 13 walks. An RBI double by Brooks Lee. And a complete game gem by Drew Thorpe. As we wrap